In this video, we solve problem 8.1.16 from Essentials of Statistics, 6th edition by Mario Triola. The claim is that the standard deviation of pulse rates of adult males is less than 10 beats per minute. And the question says for a random sample of 153 adult males, the pulse rates have a standard deviation of 9.5 beats per minute. Find the value of the test statistic. Now this is related to a distribution called the chi-squared distribution. Um, that we chose to skip in our class, um, at least in the fall 2020 semester, we skipped um, the optional uh, section uh, 7.3 due to time constraints. Um, so we don't know nearly as much about the chi-squared distribution as we know about, say, the um, sample distribution or sampling distribution of the sample means and the sampling distribution of uh, sample proportions. Um, we don't really know much about the sampling distribution of the standard deviations because we skipped that material, but we can still answer this question. So let's write down um, the claim first. We were told that the standard deviations of pulse rates, or we claim that the standard deviation of pulse rates of adult males is less than 10 beats per minute. So that's the true population standard deviation. That's the claim. So we're claiming that that is less than 10 beats per minute. That does not contain the condition of equality. So I will write a statement that does contain the condition of equality. The one with the equals sign is the null hypothesis. The other one is the alternative hypothesis. And um, so that's what we've got regarding our hypothesis test. And then we've got some sample data. So we were told that a random sample of 153 adult males, that's n equals 153. Um, in that random sample, um, the pulse rates have a standard deviation of 9.5 beats per minute. And the question becomes like, how extreme is that sample standard deviation of 9.5? if the true population standard deviation is equal to that null of 10 beats per minute. Well, um, we didn't really look at the sampling distributions of the standard deviation. So I'm not going to draw a graph here because we didn't really study those, um, but we can still compute chi-squared. So chi-squared is the test statistic that we use in this case. And it turns out to be one minus or the sample size minus one um, times that sample standard deviation squared divided by the population standard deviation that we're testing against squared. So we can compute this pretty easily. Uh, 153 minus one is 152. The sample standard deviation is 9.5. We're testing against the hypothesis or we're testing against um, yeah, this hypothesis that the standard deviation is equal to 10 beats per minute. So we um, just compute that. So we've got 152 times 9.5 squared divided by 100. And I get approximately 137.18. And that is our test statistic. Now we're not gonna focus on this too much because we are going to stick to um, hypothesis tests regarding um, population proportions and population means, but in another class, perhaps you can, um, you will study a hypothesis tests about standard deviations, and then you'd see this chi-squared quite a bit. 